It's very sad. A Winnipeg family mourns the loss of loved ones after they were killed in a major earthquake causing mass destruction and death in Syria and Turkey. This is the scene in Kahraman Maris, Turkey, Wednesday, after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake has turned that city into rubble. Thousands of people have been killed and even more have been injured as a result. Back here at home, families with relatives in the affected areas, like Nematula Emre's family, can do nothing but watch what's unfolding. Nobody can help them. This is the one of the worst feeling you can have. Four members of Emre's extended family were killed in the Turkish city of Adiaman, east of Kahraman Maris. He says their bodies were found under rubble, with others still unaccounted for. Many of them still, we don't know what about them. They're still under the rubbles. And lots of people still homeless, basically no shelter, no food, nothing. Some of Emre's family survived the earthquake. His brother's mother-in-law and her son were rescued after being trapped under rubble for eight hours. Emre says he feels helpless and is trying to do everything he can to help. He says he is raising money and will be sending it to relief funds in Turkey to help out those in need. Unfortunately, we cannot be there, but... We can do so many things here to help these people there. Canada so far has made a $10 million funding commitment as part of an international aid effort to help out with rescue and search efforts in both countries. Groups at home like the Manitoba Islamic Association have started an earthquake relief fundraiser as well. Emre was in Turkey in October of 2011 when a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit Van, Turkey along the border with Iran. That earthquake took the lives of over a thousand people but Emre says that disaster doesn't even remotely compare to what is happening in Turkey right now. Please help. This is one of the biggest disaster maybe in our generation we haven't seen. So the people in Turkey, they're in desperate need and desperate help. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.